Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick recipe for loaded omelet muffins. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure that you do so. So let me show you what you're going to need. Um, in this skillet, I have a frozen pepper blend. Now, I wasn't able to get to the store and get fresh veggies. If you are, that is great. But my frozen pepper blend has um, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and onion. And it came in the bag, in a bag of course, and it was a little bit chunky, so I chopped it up a little bit more, and I sauteed it in this skillet with maybe a teaspoon of olive oil, and then I seasoned it. You're also going to need two different types of cheese. The cheese that I am using is Parmesan cheese, and I'm also using some freshly grated, sharp, extra sharp cheddar cheese. Um, you're going to need whatever meat you prefer. So um, we like bacon, and then I am also using sausage. Now, normally I prefer pork sausage, but in my freezer I had turkey sausage, so that is what I'm using. You're going to need some potato puffs or uh, tater tots, whatever you prefer. And I have enough for this recipe that I thawed out in the refrigerator overnight. And then you're going to need 10 eggs. And as you can see, I've already kind of whipped them up. I added my own seasonings to the egg and I added a dash of half and half, probably about a teaspoon. And then you're going to need a heavily oiled cupcake tin. This one is just the regular standard size. And as you can see, I heavily oiled it with, or sprayed it, I should say, with grapeseed oil. So if you wanna see how these muffins come together, stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to do is drop three little potato rounds into your cookie or your cupcake tin. And then you're just going to smash them down. So I'm just gonna do a few of these on camera. Uh, see, I just put them in there and I just smashed it down with the glass. It doesn't have to be perfect. Push it down there. Okay, then I'm gonna add my next layer. So the rest of these I'm gonna do off camera because I really don't think you guys wanna see me do 12 of these. So I'm just gonna do a few just to show you kind of what it looks like. I'm just doing a sprinkling of cheese. You're just basically layering um, these muffins. And you can add whatever cheese you like, whatever meat you like, just based on your family's or your preference. And these are also, um, these also work really well in the freezer. So I've got my cheese down. I'm gonna add my veggies next. And next I'm gonna add my egg mixture. Now, I wish I had a huge um, measuring cup and I can just pour these from a spout. Unfortunately, I don't. So I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Okay guys, so here are the muffins. I finished all of them. They're so simple to make. And now I'm getting ready to pop them into the oven. It's already preheated to 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. You're gonna wanna check on them um, until they're set. So I will show you the finished, pro finished product when these are done. Okay guys, so here are the omelet muffins 
fresh out of the oven. I ended up baking these for 21 minutes. And um, when you take them out, they are gonna be a little bit puffy, but they are going to flatten out for you. Uh, there was a little bit of spillage from the egg. Some of the cupcake cold, cupcakes were a little bit fuller than the others. So I just cleaned it up. I just took a little plastic knife and just uh, scraped around the edges. And as you can see, I added some additional cheese, some cheddar on top. It wasn't as cheesy as I wanted it, so I just sprinkled it on top and then it melted. So I'm just going to let these continue to cool and then I'm going to pull one out so that y'all can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay guys, so I took one out of the pan for you, split it open. So you can see that bottom layer, you've got your potatoes. You can't even tell if they were potato puffs before, they kind of just meld together. And then you can see you've got your bell pepper, your cheese, your bacon and sausage. And it's really, really good, simple to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And oh, I forgot to mention, um, I think I forgot to mention, you can freeze these. These will keep in the refrigerator for several days. They are quick on the go breakfast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.